Laws.com. How to file for divorce in South Carolina. Step 1. Confirm eligibility for a South Carolina divorce. The first step to filing for divorce in South Carolina requires you to ensure eligibility based on the state's residency requirements. Currently, the state's divorce residency requirements state that if both you and your spouse live in the state, the spouse filing for divorce must be a resident of the state for at least three months. That said, if only one party lives in South Carolina, the filer must be a resident for at least one year prior to filing filing for divorce. Failure to adhere to these, in addition to fulfilling the state's residency requirements, you and your spouse must establish grounds for divorce. You may file a fault or no fault South Carolina divorce so long as you cite one of the acceptable grounds. The grounds for a fault-based South Carolina divorce include physical abuse, willful abandonment for at least one year, alcohol or drug addictions, and adultery. If severe marital misconduct was not observed during your marriage, you may file a no fault South Carolina divorce if you and your spouse are currently living in separate locations for at least one year. Step 2. Secure the South Carolina complaint for divorce. If you meet the aforementioned requirements, you must then go to the courthouse where you are filing and procure the complaint for divorce form from the county clerk. On the divorce form, you must include the grounds for divorce, the addresses for both you and your spouse, and the names of any children you produced from the union. Also, you can list any requests you have for child support, child custody, alimony, or property. Once the form is complete, you must file it at the clerk of court's office. You are encouraged to file in the county where your spouse resides. However, if your spouse is missing or does not live in state, you may file in your residential county. Step 3. Serving your spouse. Once filed, you must have the petition served to your spouse via the sheriff's office or a personal process server. When your spouse receives the document, he or she has 30 days to respond. If your spouse accepts the term, the divorce processes immediately. If your spouse rejects your requests, you will engage in negotiations. If negotiations fail, your case will go to trial. To watch more videos, please make sure to visit laws.com.